Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, speaking of, actually, Scott's coming up right now. So here we go. <laughs> That's why I said this time. Well, you know, we heard it's like a PG-13 show, and the reason everybody has to announce that before every show is me. <laughs> I, I have a dirty mouth, I know. I mean, it, it's, it's like, you know, but, but I, I'm kind of like, you know, not everybody has like exploding epileptic Tourette's like I do, but if you suppress your pornography and your cursing, it just gets worse. And case in point, China. China, they, there's a big cultural taboo on pornography, big cultural taboo on cursing, and uh, the government censors both political topics and cursing and pornography. What do they do? Grass mud horse. Well, y'all didn't get that, but it's uh, <laughs> in Chinese they have inflections that uh, that change the meaning. So every every constant has five inflections, and depending on the inflection, it depends on what it is. So ma is horse, ma is mud. So, Javi Ma, fuck your mother in the cunt. <laughs> and there's another one, Mala Desert, which, oh, we're still doing PG-13, so I'll censor this next one. <laughs> Through your mother's later parts. <laughs> so you get, uh, I rode the grass mud horse through the Mala Desert. I rode, fuck your mother's cunt, through your mother's cunt. <laughs> But now they're starting to, uh, to uh, censor that, so you can't use grass mud horse anymore. They, actually, one of the reasons they cut uh, YouTube is they got a little bunch of little Chinese kids singing talking about the, the grass mud horse and uh, millions of views, everybody snickering, but you can't keep a secret like that. That's why I like in America we can just curse, we have to get the horses involved. I actually had a, a Chinese girlfriend, a fiance, for three years, and I learned a, lot, a few things about Chinese. It's like, P is pencil, again, the inflections. P is pussy. So you gotta watch out what you're saying, or somebody might bring you a goddamn pencil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, my relatives came, came down, and you know, I don't usually talk religion with my relatives, because it's like, you know, it's like entering the Special Olympics. You know, you know you're gonna win, but what's the point? So, uh, but you know, they're nice people, and I don't want, I don't mean to, to disparage them or any way, but it's hard for me to take Christianity seriously because it's basically just a, a like you know, amalgamation of different stuff. People you know, grab from older religions and then later they you know, brought stuff in the second century. It's just a, a big amalgamation. It's like the big thing Christmas, all right? Well, it's Saturnalia, the Roman holiday. It has all the same attributes as Christmas. So those Christians straight up stole it. Happens on the winter solstice. They give gifts to people, and they walk around with candles and sing songs house to house. Only the Romans did it drunk and naked. And Christians <laughs> fuck up everything. I could have been much more observant if I'd been born in, in Roman times. But so I had, uh, my, my uh, brother brought home his soon-to-be wife and uh, went out to, to uh, Georgetown, where we're from, Georgetown, South Carolina. And my grandmother's in one of these little churches. And uh, we all, of course, all had to go out. Even the atheists had to go out to church. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm looking for things to amuse myself. And we're sitting in this place, and it's about maybe that big, you know, from the column line there, and the preacher up in there, and there's a choir behind. And it looks like it was made from scraps they found at the dump and curtains. And, uh, they, and I was just sitting there in the lawn chair, the, the pew right beside uh, Adelaide, my sister's soon to be, and I said, well, yeah, Adelaide, when they pass the snakes, just put your hand down and they'll pass them over you. <laughs> I was thinking it was a, it, you know, just a stupid thing I was saying, but she believed me, so she kept looking for the snakes. <laughs> Every time the collection, oh, we got the five minutes. Okay, what do I want to end this on? All right, how about the song? We got, we got a song, we don't even have this, the song thing. We, got, we don't have the, the, the guitar going on here. All right. Josh, I'm ready for I'm ready for my song. <laughs> Good scurry. Give me a second. Give me a second. Gotta take it here somewhere. It's much, it's not, shut up. Let me tell you a story. About a cat named Ed. Serial killing man. On dead women in bed. 
Peggy was actually a good man. Thanks for having me. Hey. This just keeps getting more and more fun. Okay. So yeah, that was scary.